In this video, we're going to prove what's called the reverse triangle inequality. The reason it's called the reverse triangle inequality is if you recall the regular triangle inequality says that the absolute value of x plus y is less than or equal to the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y. Whereas here we have the absolute value of x plus y and if you read it backwards it's greater than or equal to the stuff over here. So the inequality sign has been reversed and that's why it's called the reverse triangle inequality. Let's go ahead and prove this. So proof. We'll start by supposing that we have two real numbers a and b. So suppose a and b are real numbers. In order to do this proof what we will do is we will start by looking at the absolute value of A. And we'll use the triangle inequality to somehow involve B. Then we'll do the same thing with the absolute value of B, and hopefully it should follow from there. So then the absolute value of A, well, what we can do is we can add and subtract B. So this is A plus B minus B. And I'm going to show an extra step. This can be written as A plus B plus negative b. And now we will use the regular triangle inequality on these two terms here. And here's the regular triangle inequality up here. So this is our x, so this is less than or equal to x, which is the absolute value of a plus b, plus and then y, which is the absolute value of negative b. And this is equal to, well, the absolute value of a plus b, plus, and then the absolute value of minus b is simply the absolute value of b. Now we'll subtract this from both sides, this guy here, and so that will give us, so then, we end up with the absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b less than or equal to this guy here, the absolute value of a plus b. Now we're going to do the same thing, but with b. So now we'll look at the absolute value of b, and this is equal to, well, we'll add and subtract a, so plus a minus a. And this can be written as follows. This can be written as, I can rearrange the terms here. This is really a plus b plus negative a. And as before, we will use the triangle inequality. We can think of this as our x, and we can think of this as our y. So this is less than or equal to the absolute value of a plus b plus, and then the absolute value of minus a. So this is equal to the absolute value of a plus b, and the absolute value of minus a is simply the absolute value of a. And now we'll subtract this guy, and so we end up with the absolute value of b minus the absolute value of a, less than or equal to what's left here. Now, if the result is not obvious, it should immediately follow that we're done. But if it's not obvious to you, let's go ahead and really rigorously justify the final step. So before we do that, let me recall the definition of absolute value. The absolute value of x, so this is not part of the proof, is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0. And it's the opposite of x if x is less than 0. So now we're going to look at what we wanted to prove. So this is the absolute value of absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b. And we're going to write down what this is using this definition. So this is a piecewise function. And this is our x. So it's equal to x. So it's equal to the absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b. And this is true if the absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b is greater than or equal to 0. And it's equal to minus absolute value of a minus absolute value of b if the absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b is less than 0. This piece here can be written as if you distribute the negative, you get absolute value of b minus absolute value of a. And this is why we are completely done. Let's see. If this case is true, then we have this. And we know that this, it's up here. It's less than or equal to a plus b. If this case is true, then we have this. And this is up here. And we know that it's less than or equal to a plus b. So in any case, it's less than or equal to, rather, 
the absolute value of a plus b. So that's it.